please stop saying mineral sunscreen is the eco-friendly option. Most people have probably heard that sunscreens bleach coral, so let's start there. This idea blew up after a 2016 study, but the catch used unrealistically high exposure even compared with crowded beaches, and under similar exposure scenarios, zinc oxide will also bleach coral. What do we know now? Coral bleaching is largely driven by climate change, sunscreen doesn't appear to be contributing significantly, and that 2016 study is an outlier from the overall evidence and has been highly criticized for its low quality. Despite that, it's had disproportionate influence on policy and playtime with the media. A big issue with all of this is that it's distracted from the needed actions to make a difference and has thoroughly confused the public on what those right actions are. Reef safe is a deceptive claim that adds to that confusion. When it comes to environmental impact, I find we tend to get tunnel vision about one part of a product's life cycle and forget about the other parts. Comparing zinc oxide with other filters, its production appears to be more intensive. Starting with zinc mining and then to processing that zinc, producing one ton translates to roughly three tons of CO2 emissions. Then you have to turn zinc to zinc oxide, probably coat it. When you get to sunscreen formulations, when UV filters are used at higher concentrations, that often translates to higher environmental impacts. But this isn't always uniform and depends a lot on the environmental profile of the specific filter. Zinc oxide is not necessarily greener at this phase, and that really depends on the specific zinc oxide. Zinc oxide can degrade to zinc ions, but how it degrades depends on the material. This notion that mineral sunscreen equals environmentally superior? We don't actually know that. Please stop saying it.